What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to week six NFL 2013 picks. Um, you know, the game started in about six hours. I'm doing this really late. Um, it's about seven in the morning. Um, last week I went 12 and two. Actually, my best week. Um, only only games I missed were. Um, I missed the Lions game and I missed the Cincinnati games. Um, both those teams lost. Um, those are teams I picked. Um, the two teams that have buys this week are New Orleans and I believe Kansas City. Let me make sure. Yep, New Orleans and Kansas City both have a bye week this week. Um, so that only be fifteen games this week. And I'm gonna go ahead and um, go through them really quick. Um, Jaguars heading Tennessee to play the Titans. Give me the Titans all day. Uh, the Jaguars, you know, still suck. Um, next game, the Ravens head to Tampa Bay to play the Bucks. The Buccaneers have actually, um, the last couple of weeks, have played pretty good. They've kept the game close. Um, they had a chance to win in New Orleans, which is a tough place to play. I still like Baltimore in this game. Uh, Tampa Bay still, you know, I, I still think that you know they have some problems, but I think they're gonna make it a good game. Give me, um, but give me Baltimore in this one. Uh, next game, Broncos head to New York, New Jersey to play the Jets. The Jets looked awful. I believe um, I don't know the correct numbers, but I know um, the numbers were terrible. It was it was at one point where they had about sixty yards passing. Uh, they benched Geno. They benched Geno Smith. Michael Vick came in there and did absolutely nothing. Huge problems in the, um, for the Jets. Uh, you play one of the best offenses in football, and they just got blown out last week, thirty-one to zero. Expect another blowout. Give me the Broncos. Uh, next game, Detroit Lions head to Minnesota to play Vikings. The Vikings look bad. Bridgewater's gonna play this game. Uh, the Lions lost. The offense stunk. Um, but the Vikings, um, you know, Bridgewater is definitely an upgrade over uh, Matt Castle. But I'm still going to take the Lions. I, I think they they play their division really well. Um, and there's no AP to run all over them. You know, AP usually has a good game against the Lions. But he's not there. I think the Lions win. Uh, the Patriots head to Buffalo to play the Bills. I like the Patriots. I think uh, last week, you know, or, you know, last week was pretty much a showca showcase of, w you know, what this team could potentially do. Uh, the secondary play played good. Uh, Revis, you know, looked like you know, he had he had a flashback to his uh, Jets days where he was the best corner. Um, I like the Patriots to win against Buffalo. Buffalo still has quarterback issues. Um. The Panthers head to Cincinnati to play the Bengals. The Bengals came off a really bad loss in New England. They are tough to beat in Cincinnati. I still like the Panthers, though. I mean, I went with my boys last week. Oh, they, they played terrible, but they came back and won it. So I'm going to stick with them. Although they, they're going into hostile territory. Difficult place to win, but I'm still going to take Carolina. Next one, uh, the Steelers head to Cleveland to play the Browns. Uh, if you remember the first game, the Browns came back in that game. Still, was, still ended up winning in the end. Still, was, still ended up winning the last game in the end. I'm gonna go out on a limb and take the Browns. No, matter of fact, I'm taking the Steelers. Forget it. I'm taking the Steelers. Watch, I end up losing that one. Um, next game, Green Bay head to Miami to play the Dolphins. Green Bay's uh, offense has been fired on all cylinders. Uh, Jordy Nelson leads the league in uh, receiving yards. Dude's been a beast. You know, if, if you take out that uh, if you take out that Lions game, which they play bad, and you take out that Seattle game, they've had one of the best passing attacks in football. Um, give me the Packers to win. Um, you know, although the Packers still struggle with protecting Aaron Rodgers, I think the guy. Makes enough plays with his feet, where um, you know he can he can get he can, he can, they're gonna put points on the board. 
I think it's going to be a close game because, you know, I don't think the Packers D is any good. You know, they have some playmakers up there. You know, Clay Matthews, or old Julius Peppers, but I just don't think that I mean, people overrated them coming into the season. But I'm still going to pick the Packers solely on the back of their offense. Um, next game, Chargers head to Oakland. Give me the Chargers. Fucking Oakland. Um, next game, the Cowboys head to Seattle to play Seahawks. Give me the Seahawks. I don't think anyone is going to beat them at home, honestly. And I don't think anyone in the schedule. The only team I could say have have a chance to beat them in, uh, in their building, San Francisco. <clears throat> Next game, the Redskins head to Arizona to play the Cardinals. Um, chalk another loss up for the Redskins. I think the, I think the Cardinals um, go in there and beat them. And go to a surprising 4-1. Hmm. Next game, Chicago Bears head to Atlanta to play the Falcons. The Bears have been turning over the ball a little bit too much in the last couple weeks. The Falcons' defense is, you know, not that great. You know, they showed up for, you know, I would say the offense showed up for the you know, most part in the Giants game. But, you know, they still inevitably lost. Um, the Bears' turnovers killed them against the Panthers. Simple as that. You know, back three straight turnovers, it killed them against the Panthers. And the Falcons are tough to beat at home. I'm gonna go with the Falcons in this one. I think they um going going and win. The Bears off defense has been struggling, and turnovers don't help when you got turnovers don't help when your defense is playing bad. And that was the sun. Let me make sure. Okay, this this is the um Sunday night game. Sunday night game is uh, New York Giants head to Philly to play Eagles. Now I know the Philly, Philadelphia Eagles are four and one. Okay, yeah, they've been playing really. You know, they're playing good. Offense has not looked great the last couple of weeks. You know, most of their um, most majority of points the last couple of weeks have come from special teams or turnovers on defense that led to points. And combined with that, the, their defense. You know, as a whole, has not looked that great. And the Giants have won three straight in the offense. You know, Eli's been playing better. Definitely um improvement on how he played last year. I like the Giants to win. It's going to be interesting to see who uh actually comes out of that division, the Giants, Eagles, or the Cowboys. We'll see. You know, obviously we'll see in the um, coming weeks. Um, and as you well know, uh, the Colts and Texas game Thursday, I picked the Colts. Um, it's on my Twitter. Um, I picked the Colts to win. Actually, it was the best Thursday night game of the year as most of those games have been blowouts. But that was, you know, that turn started ugly, ended up um, being a pretty good game. And the Monday night game, San Francisco 49ers hit St. Louis play the Rams. I'm taking the Niners, although St. Louis has played pretty good the last couple of weeks. I'm still going to take the Niners. Um, the run game is good. Colin Kaepernick, with all the weapons this guy has, he has played subpar. Um, you know, Vernon Davis, still don't know his uh, if he's going to be there. He's probably a game-time decision. Um, you know, he got Stevie Johnson, Brandon Lloyd, Michael Crabtree, Anquan Bolden. Still got Frank Gore in the backfield. Um, a, a solid, solid offensive line. He should be playing a lot better than what he's, you know, been playing. But I still think they're gonna win. Um, they, the the defense, although they can't get a bunch of pressure on the quarterback, the defense is still good. Um, you know, you still got Patrick Willis. Uh, you still got Mark Brooks. You still got Justin Smith. Those guys still make plays. Um, that pretty much does it for this week. Um, I kept this video short. Uh, quick little update. Um, I'm probably gonna do some videos. One is gaming related, um, and the other. I actually want to talk about my fantasy team. You know, I got two fantasy teams, and to just pretty much just talk about how one is doing bad, one is doing pretty good, and I was gonna do. I'm gonna do a video later talking about those teams and how they, you know, how they've been doing, and what players have been letting me down. Um, but you know, let me know what your game of the week. Let me know what your game of the week is. Mine's. It's a Carolina game. Um, it's a big game in Cincinnati against uh, 
gets tough competition. But let me know what you think down in the comment section. Your game of the week. Um, how'd you do last week? And what is your record up to now? And hell, I ain't even calculating my, my record up. Uh, I'll do that later in another video. Um, of course, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.